All right, just going to make a quick video showing that Calvinism uh, is wrong in saying that God is the author of sin. Because Calvinism, when you really get down to it, they think that God is the author of sin. Then you have Calvinists that may deny this. You've got, like, for example, Matt Slick who will deny this. But the cores of Calvinism, if you think everything that happens is God's will, that means sin is God's will too. So that means that abortion is God's will. That means that homosexuality is God's will. Miscegenation is God's will. Uh, even child pornography is God's will. Or pedophilia is God's will. You know? That, that's what you have to really get into when you think that everything that happens is God's will. And Calvinism is obviously a false doctrine. But I'm just going to show you something very interesting because I'm going to refute this Calvinist false doctrine that God is the author of sin. So first of all, the founder of Calvinism taught that God ordained sin. This is uh, John Calvin, Institutes of the Christian Religion, Book 3, Chapter 23. He says, The first man fell because the Lord deemed it meet that he should. Why deemed it meet? We, knew, we know not. Man therefore falls, divine providence so ordaining, but he falls by his own fault. Bit of a contradiction there. So God ordains it. it. It's God's will. Man has no free will, but then, oh, it's your fault if you do it. You see, the thing about Calvinism is it makes God unjust. If you have no free will, then God has no reason to blame you for your sins because you have no control over your actions. You know, The God of Calvinism is a God that will basically... Essentially what Calvinism is is that it destroys any personal accountability for your actions. And the God of Calvinism is an unjust God when they really get down to it. The God of Calvinism is a false God. Now, if you thought that was bad, here's a clip of James White, a Calvinist preacher, literally saying that God ordains child rape. Okay, Not, watch the clip yourself. Here it is. When a child is raped, is God responsible and did he decree that rape? If he didn't, then that rape is a, a, an element of meaningless evil that has no purpose. What I'm trying to point out by going to Scripture... So what is your answer there? Because I, I want to understand the answer I'm, to that question. I'm trying to go to Scripture to answer. The, yes, the but reason, what is the answer to the question that the, he just asked the, so that we can understand what the answer is? I, I, I mentioned to him, yes, because if not, then it's meaningless and purposeless. And though God knew it was going to happen, he created without a purpose. That right there is the false doctrine of Calvinism. They think that essentially when a child is raped, it was God who did it. So they basically, essentially, in their theology, when these Catholic priests are touching little boys and raping little boys, it was actually God's will that happens. It was God who did it. It's a wicked false doctrine. I'm going to refute that thoroughly in this video. So first of all, the scriptures clearly teach that God is not the author of sin, that God is sinless. You know, And of course, they're going to try to find some little counter argument, but this is the reality. God is not the author of sin. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. He will not do iniquity, meaning he's not causing these Catholic priests to rape boys. That simple. Romans chapter 9, verse 14. Romans 9, 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteous, unrighteousness with God? God forbid. Well, the Apostle Paul says there's no unrighteousness with God, but John Calvin says otherwise. But I'll be following the Apostle Paul over John Calvin. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 4. Deuteronomy 32, verse 4. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a God of truth, and without iniquity, just and right is he. If God ordains abortion, if God ordains you know, child pornography, child sacrifice, all those other sins, if God ordains sin, he's not without iniquity. You can't claim he is. The God of Calvinism is a God of sin. Job chapter 36, verse 23. Job 36, verse 23. Says... Uh, who hath enjoined him his way? Or who can say, thou hast wrought iniquity? Well, John Calvin says, essentially, God has wrought iniquity. But the Job, you know, Job, a servant of God, says otherwise. God has not wrought iniquity. Job 34, verse 10. Therefore hearken unto me, ye men of understanding, far be it from God that he should do wickedness, and from the Almighty that he should commit iniquity. Again, John Calvin says otherwise, but I'll be following what Job says over what John Calvin says. Now, for, here's some examples of further showing that God did not ordain sin. When the children of Israel were sacrificing their children to Baal, God says it didn't even come into his mind. It, it wasn't even coming into his mind that they would do such wickedness and that he commanded them not to do this. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 31. Another clear scripture refuting this, this Calvinist uh, wicked false doctrine. 
Jeremiah 7, 31. And they have built the high places of Tophet, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my heart. Jeremiah chapter 19, verse 5. They have built also the high places of Baal to burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings unto Baal, which I commanded not, nor spake it, neither came it into my mind. And Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 35. And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire unto Moloch, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my mind that they should, they should, that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. Well, God has, so here's, here's how it works. John Calvin would say, well, God ordained this sinful act. God says it didn't even come into his mind that he would do this kind of stuff, this wickedness. You know, so who should we follow? Should we follow, you know, God the Father or John Calvin? I'll be picking God the Father. Uh, finally, my final point is that when mankind became full of violence, God repented that he even made mankind that was grieved at their sin. He didn't ordain it. He was grieved at it. So much so that he actually repented and regretted even making mankind. That's how much he was grieved over their sin. If God, if God ordains sin, what do you do with this? Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 to 6. This also proves free will, by the way, as well, because it shows that they were acting against his clear will. Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 to 6. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually, and it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. Hmm. Genesis chapter 6, verse 11 to 13. The earth, was all, the earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, and behold I will destroy them with the earth. Hmm. It doesn't seem like God ordained this wicked violence and murder that was going on man, with mankind back in the days of Noah. God is not the author of sin. Now, God will sometimes allow sinful things to happen. Like you got uh, Genesis 19, verse 30 to 38, where Lot is committing incest. God allowed that to happen, but he wasn't ordaining that or willing that to happen. Since incest is clearly condemned as an abomination in Leviticus chapter uh, 18, verse 7 down to verse 18, I believe it is. And also many other verses too, like uh, Deuteronomy chapter, I believe it's, um, sorry, sorry, Deuteronomy chapter 21 verse uh, 22 and 23 I believe it is uh, Leviticus chapter uh, 20 verse 11 or Leviticus chapter 20 verse 10 to 11 Leviticus chapter 20 verse 17 down to verse 19 I mean there's so many other scriptures that I condemn it so God will can sometimes allow sinful things to happen but it doesn't mean that he ordains it or wants it to happen or wills it to happen why because man has free will that's something that Calvinism rejects so don't be deceived by Calvinism it is a false doctrine any any doctrine that makes God the author of sin and essentially makes God no different than, than the devil is a false doctrine that should be rejected by any student of scripture. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.